Hi guys, and welcome to the iGameOver channel. Today, we're going into another episode of uh, Computer Parts Explained, and we will be talking about cooling. So, when your computer works, the byproduct of this work is heat, and this heat needs to be dissipated, or, you know, you need to get rid of that heat, otherwise the system or your computer will overheat and it, will, it could cause instabilities or it could even fail. And um, if you run your computer too hot, you will actually shorten a lifespan on your, of your computer. So uh, it's not going to last that long. So good cooling is actually pretty important for, um, for the longevity of your um, PC system. And um, there are several cooling solutions available on the market right now and uh, basically hundreds of different of models. Um, but um, um, probably some of them you already have. For example, when you bought your PC case, it most likely came with at least one fan and um, yeah, or several fans in most cases. <laughs> See what I did there? And this goes with, uh, you know, with, with graphics cards too, because graphics cards will always have a, their own cooling attached to them, right? So what you need to consider is processor cooling, foremost processor cooling. Um, most CPUs will come with some sort of pre-bundled um, cooling solution, although, for example, from Intel side, this is no longer the case in some high-end processors. Um, and it would do an adequately good job. But unfortunately, if you want to overclock your system or you just want to be quiet, this is not going to be enough. Because those fans are just about efficient enough, uh, they will actually have to work pretty hard to dissipate your heat and, um, and therefore they will be really noisy. And fortunately there is, like I said, a vast amount of third-party coolers that is available for you on the market from really, really cheap ones to, well, rather expensive ones. And, um, but the thing to consider the most at first is actual cooler size, right? Because your case, you, which you would have, um, which you would have chosen by now, will accept only a certain height of the cooler, right? which is a case with air coolers um, because again they will come from small ones or low profile ones which are most suited for mini ITX cases to huge ones from the ones like I don't know Noctua for example or Cooler Master where they have a massive cooling capabilities but also <laughs> weight of, you know a ton well not a ton obviously right but they can weigh as much as more than a kilo. Um, so um, if you have a mini ITX case that is specifically um, thin, right? I would suggest you consult your manufacturer's website um, because they will list in product specifications, they will list uh, which kind of height of the cooler your case accepts the most. Um, because uh, more often than not, you'll find yourself that uh, the third party cooler will not fit. In the old days, um, socket of your motherboard uh, would be, um, you know, or on your motherboard and the socket of your processor would be a concern. But um, nowadays, this is not the case. Uh, pretty much every single cooler will fit a, every single type of processor socket. Saying that, do check that it actually lists the socket compatibility, okay? So if you have, for example, an Intel 1151 socket, um, you, you might want to check that your, your cooler supports that. Uh, just know that if it says 1150 and you have 1151 socket, it's the same thing, okay? Basically, as far as coolers are concerned, it's the same thing. So if your cooler lists 1150, and you have 1151, do buy it, it's fine. Now, most popular uh, cooling types are as follows, okay? Because there are actually a few ways to, to cool your computer. The most popular by far will be air cooling, and that will be a type of cooling whereas you have a rather large heat sink made of, I don't know, aluminium or copper in a more high-end solutions and it'll have one or two or three fans attached to it for the biggest one. 
Then you have a water cooling, and this is a little bit of a tricky one because you can't have easy water cooling with a sort of already pre-assembled and pre-filled kits from the likes of Corsair, for example. Uh, and they will have really good capabilities, although sometimes not, you know, relatively similar to the ones of the high-end air cooling. Um, you can do a full custom loop. It's just let me warn you that it could leak and water and electrical components do not mix, okay? You will lose your computer and it could be dangerous for you too. But saying that if you look at the proper guides and um, don't forget to hit that like button because, you know, I might just do a guide about water cooling for you, huh? So, um, but anyway, if you do it right, then you could water cool your entire computer that includes your processor, your um, your graphics card. Heck, you can even do your hard drives if you need to, or even RAM, and even your motherboard, right? And then you'll have water flowing throughout your entire computer. Your fans will, ha will not have to spin that hard. And basically your computer will be very, very silent. Not to mention the overclocking possibilities on that. Okay, so these were the main ways to cool your computer. So, in summary, things to consider. Will the cooler fit your PC case? Okay, so the size of the cooler first. Then, would you like it simple? Go for the air cooling. Would you like it um, perhaps a little bit better cooling? Go for the water cooling in a form of an uh, already pre-made kit. And if you want to step up your game, and really push your computer to its limits, go for a fully custom loop. There are also more exotic ways to cool your um, computer, like uh, phase change, for example, or liquid nitrogen, but those are really extreme and I'm not going to be getting into that in this episode. Um, they're really good for, um, let's say they're really nice for very hard overclocking if you want to beat some records, but they are not exactly a sustainable way to cool your processor or cool your computer over a longer period of time. And that is it. That is it for today's episode and um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, check out this video uh, where I give away a brand new Razer Mamba Tournament Edition mouse to anyone in the world. Okay? So don't forget to check that and um, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and take care.